This summit is about bringing together the most influential and ambitious doers in the climate space, and that's who you are. It's basically that roll up your sleeves and get things done attitude that I find so refreshing. People are sharing ideas, working together, and figuring out how they can support each other to do more, and that's just a great culture. We've gone from this stage of just big commitment to saying we will do things to actually how are we going to do things, what can I learn from you. I feel like that's really the power of the US Climate Action Summit, to come together and figure out how do we make kind of nuanced partnerships to figure out ways in which we can progress climate action. Our generation that's alive today will be defined by what we do to tackle the climate crisis. Well, there was a lot of discussion about the IRA and the best way to operationalize all this great innovation toward reaching our federal climate goals. The next 10 years are going to be an incredible amount of work, exciting but challenging work. This is a special time. We're not going to have a redo. Well, I've heard a lot of discussion about partnership and subnational private sector, federal partnership, and how excited people are really to just roll up their sleeves and get things done. What makes progress possible is for people to be feeling like they're part of the solution. Labor, young people, allies in the environmental justice community, folks who care about racial justice, folks who care about public health, all feeling like they've got a stake in getting this right. Bill Ritter's conversation with Wes Moore about what they're doing on uh, delivering economic benefits to disadvantaged communities. If you want an understanding of what inequity looks like, look at the impact of climate change on communities. People would say, well, what does climate have to do with poverty? And the answer was everything. We need these moments to you know, build the energy, but also build those solutions. And so as we move towards Climate Week, we can pick up these conversations again and kind of come back to them and also see how that momentum's delivering and also hold one another to account. It's one thing to turn up today and say, I'm going to do something. Well, we can check in in a few months. How's that going? How do we change things? How do we shift? So it's an ongoing conversation. It's not just like one-off events.